Citrus juices are essential to literally thousands of cocktail recipes. And today I'm going to show you an easy, sustainable way to get about eight times the amount of juice from just one piece of fruit, saving you a ton of money in the process. Stay tuned. What's up guys, Sam James Barprince.com. And if you are a lover of all things cocktail, I'm going to ask you to hit the subscribe button right down here and click the notification bell to make sure you never miss a new video when it comes out. Only takes about two seconds and is one of the best ways that I can help you cocktail grater. Now today we're going to be making what's called a super juice or more specifically three different types of super juice, lime, lemon, and orange. Now the process for making all of them is more or less the same, but there are a couple slight variations, which is why we're going to be covering each of them in this video. Now, if you've been watching my videos for any length of time, you may be saying to yourself, self, Sam always advocates for using fresh juices in your cocktails whenever you can. And you're right, I do. I do think it's a great way to get the most out of a cocktail. But I got to be honest with you, I've been using this hack more and more for three main reasons. First of all, it's sustainable. What I mean by that is you're really getting the most out of every piece of fruit and not leaving anything to waste. Second of all, it's a very cost effective way of doing your preparation as well as a very time efficient way of doing your preparation if you need to have a lot of this juice because you're going to be serving several cocktails where the recipe calls for this juice or you're going to be doing a large format cocktail like a punch or something like that. And third, not only does this method not compromise the flavor of your cocktail, in a lot of cases, it even enhances it. All right, now let's make some super juice. Now to start out with, a couple things you're going to need to make your super juice, of course, your citrus. And then you're going to be needing a peeler, a digital scale, a blender, some citric acid, some malic acid, and something to fine strain your juice through like a nut milk bag or a cheesecloth. Now the first step involves taking your citrus peels and creating something called an oleocitrate. And that's really just a sciencey way of saying that you're gonna take the acids that I mentioned earlier and use them to pull the oils out of the peels. It's similar to something you may have heard about called an oleosaccharum, which is the same process, but instead of using acids, you're using sugars. If you wanna learn how to make one of those, you can check out this video right here. Now, starting off with the lemon, you're gonna to wanna to peel as much of it as possible down to the pith. Use whatever method of peeling that you're comfortable with. Once you've gotten all the peel off, then you're going to go ahead and weigh it. Next step, you're going to take your citric acid and you're going to measure an equal amount of weight to the peels of citric acid. Once that's done, grab an airtight container, put your peels in there, and then you're going to add your citric acid. Seal your container and shake it around. Give, it, give the peels a nice coating of the acid and leave it for about two hours so that it has enough time to draw all the oils out of the peels. Now, two hours later, once it's had its time to do its work, it should look a little something like this. Now, like I said at the beginning, it's a little bit different with each juice. So here's where the variation comes in. When you're going to be doing a lime super juice, you're going to want to follow the same process. You're going to go ahead and peel the lime, weigh the peels, but then you're going to measure 0.66 times the weight of the peels in citric acid and 0.33 times the weight of the peels in malic acid. Then you follow the same process as the lemon. Get your airtight container, add the peels and the acids to the container, seal it, give it a nice coat, and then you let it sit for two hours so that the acids can produce the oleocitrate. Finally, for your orange super juice, or as most people refer to it, an acid-adjusted orange juice, you're gonna follow the same process. Go ahead and peel your orange, but with regards to the measurements of the citric and the malic acid, you're gonna go with 0.9 times the weight of the orange peels in citric acid and 0.1 times the weight of the peels in malic acid. Now, regardless if you're making the lime, lemon, or the orange super juice, you're gonna be following these steps now in the exact same fashion for whichever one you're gonna be doing. Two hours later, once your oleocitrate has been produced, you're gonna go ahead and take your fruit and juice it. So obviously you're gonna juice your lemon for your lemon, your lime for your lime, your orange for your orange. Then you're gonna take the juice from that fruit and add it to your oleocitrate. Mix it around, try to get as much of the acids and the oils incorporated into the juice. Once you've given it a good mix and you've gotten all the acids and oils incorporated, take that mixture and then you're gonna add it to your blender. Once you've done that, go ahead and grab your scale one more time and then you're gonna measure 16.66 times the weight of the peels in water. Add some of the water to the container that had your oleocitrate, rinse it around, pour that into your blender, then add the rest of the water into the blender and give it a nice blend for about 30 seconds. Once you're done blending, grab your container, 
with either your nut bag or your cheesecloth, whatever you're using to strain, and then just strain the solids through. Go ahead and give the solids a little bit of a squeeze so you can make sure you can get that last bit of juice and flavor and oils incorporated into the overall mixture. And then you're all set. You just have to go ahead and bottle it. And there you have your super juice. Go ahead and use it in whatever recipe that calls for that corresponding juice and store it in your fridge. It should keep for about two weeks, longer than that, and it starts to get a bit of a metallic flavor. And once you've made your juice, I'd love to hear from you guys. Drop a comment below and let me know how you like the use of the super juice in place of the freshly squeezed juice in any of the recipes that you tried. Now, if you're looking for tools and products to help you cocktail greater, go ahead and head over to barprints.com and check out what we have over there. If you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful, please give it a like and share it with a friend who gets some value out of it. it helps the channel out way more than you know. And finally, for more great recipes and techniques, you can check out these videos right here. Cheers.